so this video is about docker first of all i am creating a docker repository so i am creating a repository file via docker.repo in etc m.repos.d folder so i had added the entries here so then i am installing the yoker uh, docker engine so i am checking the images by using the docker images command so no images are there so then i am searching for an image called dobundo there are many number of images are there I am searching for image called Fedora. So I am going to install one image called Fedora Apache. So I am going to pull the image first. So I am giving the pull command. Pull Fedora slash Apache. So then I am giving Fedora images command. So I am giving Docker images command. So one. Uh, image is downloaded so I'm giving a command docker images docker info so then I'm using this command docker run it hyphen it name image name bin bar then I'm connected inside this container so we can see this uh, this probe is different from the original one so I connected another uh, putty session and this is in the base machine and this is the inside my container and the base machine I am giving this command docker ps a it is showing the container id name image name and what is the port number in the main machine, I am giving in this command docker inspect test one. So it is showing the information about this particular one. So at base machine, I am giving the IP addr command. I am seeing the IP address. This is the IP address of my base machine. So when I give this docker inspect test command, so I can see the IP address of my docker. So this is the IP address of my docker test. container inside the docker container so i am just giving httpd person command so what it will do it is starting this service stpd so i am going to that uh, directory of this web server i am going to var wwhtml i am creating a index.html file so i am just starting here this is test page coming from docker base computer so I am installing a text based, text -based browser I am installing e-links so then I am opening uh, the website which is installed in the docker container so I am giving e-links and the IP of my docker machine so you can see this page is coming so that means the website is working so in a real world scenario if you want to make this available to the internet so 
we have to give a command like this. We have to specify a different port number like this.